From the award-winning KCIW Newsroom, Newsbreak. As of Thursday, August 24th, the Smith Complex fire has burned more than 52,000 acres and is 0% contained. The power is still off in much of Del Norte County and Highway 199 remains closed. Wild Rivers Outpost Crescent City Bureau Chief Jessica Sainar Andrews has been reporting on this fast-moving story. And she says community spirit is helping to bring folks together in Del Norte County during this emergency. It really, really is. Um, people have really pulled together on, on this. And what are you seeing with, with regard to emergency response from Del Norte County? How, how do you think officials there are handling this fire? I think they're handling it very well. The, the, um, they've been in communication with, um, with the interagency management team that's fighting the fire. Um, it's a lot of, um, a lot of different agencies are working together at the EOC to, um, kind of coordinate, uh, coordinate a lot of things, um, including like, for example, generators to, uh, to power the community. So you got a lot, a lot of, uh, a lot of places in, in the community, even though the transmission line is compromised, the utility Pacific power has brought in these massive generators. And um, and there are people that are that have power now, um, which is good. They've also set up um, uh, kind of um, resource areas um, in coordination, both with Pacific Power and and in other areas as well, where people can can charge their phones, um, get water, uh, access Wi-Fi. Um, the the city uh, Crescent City has um, allowed people to go to the Fred Endert Municipal Pool to take showers. Um, it's, it's really, they're, they're really kind of working together. And it's, and it's not just, um, it's, it's not just government agencies either. Do you know if the tribes are doing anything? Uh, the tribes are, um, there's a community resource center in Klamath at the Yurok Tribal Office. And that is also a place where people can, can like, you know, charge their devices and, particularly uh, for those that have CPAP machines and oxygen tanks. And then the Talawa Dene Nation is also offering kind of a similar situation at Hwangput Community Hall. Um, they also have showers available and, um, and, you know, snacks, food, if anybody needs it. Um, the, the Family Resource Center of the Redwoods is providing boxes of food and diapers um, to anyone that needs it. Um, wow, it, it sounds like a huge patchwork quilt that's really kind of covering everything. It's, it that's is. Really, it really heartening. It, it really, really is. Um, Sainar Andrews says the main shelter in Del Norte County is located at the county fairgrounds, and some folks are parked there and staying in their RVs. What about for animals? Are, are, is there room for animals at the fairgrounds as well? Where are people bringing their animals? I'm pretty sure they're bringing their animals to the fairgrounds. Um, the Disaster Animal Response Network is... Um, one second. The issue with all these news releases is they put everything in one Facebook post. you got to scroll down. Yeah, so uh, people are urged to call DART, that's the Disaster Animal Response Team, um, and this is just this is just information about people needing help with their animals, um, not necessarily where they can house their animals. Um, so I'm not entirely sure where they're taking them. Um, is there is there a um... I guess a funnel or, or, or a singular place where people can go to get information. Is there a, a phone number that they can call? Yeah. So, uh, so if you're talking specifically for animals, um, that phone number, and this is for the disaster animal response team in Del Norte County. And that phone number is 707-954-3700. Okay. 707-954-3703. Yep. And then the, and this is for pets, um, the Finn and Feather Pet Shop in Eureka is also offering supplies to Del Norte, and that phone number is 707-443-4914.
And what about people just getting information about the fire, um, when they might be able to go home? Is there an informational right. line that Del Norte County has set up? There is. The Del Norte Office of Emergency Services hotline is, is kind of kind of where you would get that information too. The Forest Service also has a hotline as well. But um, so the OES line is uh, 707-954. Three seven zero four. Right now, there's a level one evacuation notice from the Oregon border south. Level one means be aware, get ready. And folks here in Curry County continuing to keep a very sharp eye on this fire, which was started by lightning on August 15th and is still 0% contained and has burned more than 52,000 acres so far. For KCIW News, I'm Lori Gallo-Stoddard.